one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another series by yours truly, Blizzard Bob and Mordred Vikings. Hello, Mordred. Hello. Now, I, uh, I'm kind of wandering into a storefront, and you've been hanging out in the storefront for a while, so why don't you explain what the fuck's going on with Thrones of Britannia, because my only exposure to this has been through you, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. All right, so basically this is the newest version of um the total war series this is a series they're doing which is called saga which is a much more focused um and concentrated game so rather than for example attila being the whole of europe and the middle east this is just britain and this is specifically about the era just after the great heathen army has arrived in britain so the vikings are here they are active they control roughly half of england and Wessex. This is the rise of Alfred the Great. So it's actually a really interesting period of uh, history. Uh, Viking raids are still ongoing, more of them coming in. Um, there are struggles for power up in Scotland and Vikings up in Scotland. There are struggles for power in Ireland and Vikings in Ireland. Like, there's lots of fighting going on at the moment. So it's, it's just a really good period for this. I heard fight, 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 Viking, fight, 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 is what I heard. Uh, and also a Viking. <laughs> more vikings so anyone who's followed my channel you'll know that i am not really like a big fan of the 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 more recent total war games pretty much i didn't like empire and everything after that i, I wasn't a big fan i played rome 2 a little bit i kind of like it just because it's rome that's really been it so i mean mortar knows that mortar knows yeah. i'm not a big fan of some of the more recent total war stuff but you you play the shit out of warhammer i know that yeah i've played a ton of warhammer i wasn't a big fan of rome 2 and i really disliked uh, empire but I loved Attila. I think Attila is one of the strongest titles they've done for a while, and this is based on the same engine, so I've really enjoyed this so far. Like, I've played a good I, few hours already. I've been told Attila is a far better version of Rome 2, is what I've been told. I haven't played it, though. I haven't played that one. <laughs> uh, I recommend it. Attila is actually really good. But, I, did, I mean, if I you enjoy this, like, then... <laughs> I, did, I did really like uh, Shogun 2, though. Shogun 2 I thought was all right. It's still a little arcadey for my taste, but... Um, I'm, I'm making the effort to approach this one with a more open mind, specifically because I wanted to be able to do this with Mordor specifically. And I imagine, just like the Hearts Fired 4 series we just did, that's probably what's going to make this series awesome. So yeah, let's, see what, let's see how it goes. All right, I'm so gonna I'm hit... ready to go. Uh, you're playing as... Who are you playing as? I'm playing as Sisson, who are the guys just north of Edinburgh in Scotland. All right, I'm going to go ahead and mispronounce this because I probably don't, I'm probably not going to say it right. I'm playing as Mide in Ireland, like right smack in the middle of it. Is that how you say it? Uh, mead or Mide? I'm not actually sure. I think it might be Mead. Mide. Hey, chat! How do we say this? Anyone who knows Gaelic, right. let us know. <laughs> uh, do I just click start campaign? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, play ready. So there might be cool. an intro, which is why I was kind of hesitating on when to press start. I'm not sure. So the game mode is already automatically cooperative, so what does that entail for both of us? Does uh, that mean that we can't fight each other, period, or how does this work? We start allied, I think. And we cannot unally, so we can never attack each other. And in battles, the battles are the important thing. Um, basically, if say Bob is fighting a battle, Bob can then give half of his army or whatever to me. Then we're both cooperating in that battle as the various units of his army. <laughs> okay, someone just posted the seven rules of this game: one Vikings, two Alfred the Great, three Vikings, four heroic Welsh, five Vikings, six. There is no rule six. Seven Vikings. And eight is also Vikings, I believe. But that's like a secret rule. <laughs> uh, everything past Mule 2 was meh, but with Warhammer, they lost you. Um, I, the last good game, I think, of the Total War series was also Medieval 2. That, that's just my opinion. You know, I, I had the most fun with Medieval 2. I played a lot of it. Um, Rome is a, a very, 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 very close second. Um, specifically because I had to play... To, to really keep my interest with Rome Total War was because I used the... Uh, uh, Europa Barbarora mod. Mm -hmm. So that's what really kept my interest in Rome Total War for a very long time. And that's why it's a runner-up to Medieval Total Medieval Total War. Oh shit, what's going on here? So a bit of a funny story actually about Rome for me. When I first went to university, Rome came out the year that I went to uni. And uh, I'd banned myself from playing all games because I was determined to be sociable. I was determined to like do the more studenty stuff rather than just being locked in a room playing a computer game. And my flatmate somehow found out that I really like games, bought me Rome, and that was it. Game over. <laughs> just yeah, okay I so i i have not had really any experience with this whatsoever the furthest i've gotten to this game so far is the faction select that's been it you played some of this so what the fuck am i doing okay so uh who's oh, wait so are point? we taking oh we're taking turns okay yes. we're not going at the same time so oh. it's your turn right now so yeah I'll, I'll run through a few of the here. really important things like at the beginning of the game you almost certainly start with a rebel army that you need to go and conquer that's part of the tutorial to basically say hey this is how you move armies this is how you attack and then it kind of shows you how to do the battle itself. So every faction has that so, rebel army. 
So that's got to be this asshole right here. Yep, Rebel it. Army. Irish Rebels. There that's that's redundant. So you'll Irish see Rebels. various icons there. It's got the little green man. That's to show that all of his units are at full strength. That matters. I'll say why in a minute. And then five. That's the number of troops in that banner. So I in, see. Okay. In this game, when you recruit troops, they do not start out at full strength. They start at like a fifth strength, and then they replenish up to full strength. This is basically to um, simulate the fact that they are gathering troops, they're mustering, um, because people have to come in from the villages and things like that. So if you have the green man, that means all of your troops in that army are at full strength or near full, and then the more red that icon becomes, like the weaker each unit in that unit is, in that army is. So even though you might have 20 units there, if they're 20% strength, then it'll be a little red man, you can probably smash that army anyway. All I'm really hearing here is that your men become more sissy over time, sometimes. <laughs> um, no, it's just when you start. Like, other Total War games, when you build an army, they're all full, full strength straight away. Boom. In this, it takes time. So if you're, like, responding to an attack on your nation, you kind of need to have a standing army already. Otherwise, it's too late. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of the same conventions here as I've seen in, like, Warhammer, which is, uh, you, got, you have, like, food stuff going on, you got taxes... Mm -hmm. Supplies. Supplies is something I'm not familiar with, actually. Um, There's I'm supply not... stats somewhere. There is. So if you click on one of your armies, um, just above your general will be a little crate. And then supply is shown there. Uh -huh. I have not had much to do with supply. I think that's more of a thing if you're, like, out raiding and things like that. Excuse me. Just you're, you're, far, you're, far, you're far away from home and you're able to forage, I imagine, is what... Yeah, uh, basically. And because I was fighting such a defensive war, well, multitude of defensive wars playing as East Anglia uh, was never a problem. But if you're like the uh, Sea Kings, where you're actually having to, like, range out and raid people, then that's kind of a, a limiting factor on how long you can actually stay out before you have to return and replenish. I or see. you can get supply by uh, attacking enemy cities and looting them. Gotcha. Um, the other thing to note oh, here is there are two different types of town. So the ones with walls around them. Um, let me just go over to Mead, I'll show you what I mean. So like your capital, which is... I'm a little annoyed I can't zoom out any further already. <laughs> so uh, Cloan uh, Macnoise no. is your capital? Yes, yes. Uh, that has walls around it. So if someone attacks that, they will have to fight a siege. And the sieges in this are really, really good fun, actually. Like, they massively overhauled that from Warhammer, which is good. Then the other smallest towns, like uh, Ardak, don't have walls. You don't fight over those. If someone, if an enemy army goes into it, they take it. It's, it's just theirs. You can, however, garrison them with your, like, regular militaries. And in which case, you will fight a small siege. Gotcha. Um, that's basically because the problem they had in Attila um, was there were billions and billions of fights over a village, and there were only ever, like, one or two maps, and it just became super-duper repetitive, so they've just got rid of that layer, basically. It also means that the, uh, the wars flow a lot more, as there's a lot of changing of hands of land. Right, I'm so going to stop. actually build a structure? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Can't. I can't do yeah, anything. It's, it's not your turn yet, and I haven't done anything, so... I'm, like, trying to build a farm, like, at the very least. It's like, all right, let's feed the people. Oh, I can't do this. Why not? You've got a lot of territory in comparison to me. Uh, yes, but it's also very, very spread out, which isn't necessarily a good thing. We will bow down to our Scottish overlords. <laughs> well, we're allied. We're both Gaelic, so... We're on the same side. Don't kill me, please. Setting. So... As you mentioned earlier, one of the uh, new features for this is food. Each unit that you raise will use up about 10 food supply. Um, War is one so your armies best. are limited by how many food supplies you have. You can get more food by building farms, mills, that type of thing. Right, let's go fight someone well, and we'll show you how the guys. fights work. Alright, let's do it. So this is the battle screen. On the left are my guys, so it's my king plus troops. So we have uh, spearmen. A uh, levy, I have no idea what you do. Two archers and a all, cavalry. All, all, I'm, all I'm watching right now is like your your guy Ducky is like shouting at the other guy. Oh, yeah. they're fighting. Oh, there they go. Two levy spearmen, an archer, and a cavalry. So we should be fine. So I'm just going to do manually fight battle. Oh, you need hello. to say manually fight battle. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, there should be some icons in the bottom, I believe. So Wait, I can auto-resolve, the take control of the AI's army is grayed out, and then spectate the other player's battle. Spectate, that's the one. And then that'll basically pull you onto the uh, combat map with me, and then I can from there give you troops. So do you have any preferences on what type of troops you want to use? Uh, whatever you don't want to do, I'll do the thing. I'll give you the cavalry, because I tend to suck as a cavalry commander. 
Oh man, I can be on a horse. Yay. Uh, actually, I wonder if my general's on a horse. I'm not sure. Um, but basically, the cavalry in this are a little bit squishy, so don't let them get bogged down in a fight. You just want to keep on doing like hit and runs. It looks like it's cavalry spearmen that we've got. Is yeah. that, am I seeing that right? Mm -hmm. I assume that there's light cavalry and heavy cavalry, which heavy cavalry, I imagine, is not as prevalent at this time in Britannia. Uh, yes. So there are some very, very early knights. Like, this is before the Normans. Um, but they're not very strong. And I think, actually, this cavalry unit might actually be, like, medium cavalry. Well, I will lead them to victory and possibly their slaughter, but we'll see. Apparently, Bob's got good cavalry and swords. Yeah, so each of the different factions have different strengths and weaknesses. Uh, your one is your sword infantry are really, really strong. Gotcha. For mead. I'm not actually sure what mine are. Oh, mine is that I can get crossbows. I'm like the only faction that can get crossbows. Okay, so there's actually a bunch of stuff here. Horsemen. Alban, horsemen, retinue, melee, cavalry. Okay, so can I select them? No. No, I need to oh, okay, so I can, give you I can, the troops. I can, I, can I can mouse over them and see what they, what they got going on here. In fact, I'm going to do it the other way around. I'm going to give you the infantry, and I'll use the cavalry, because I'll try them. <laughs> So you should now have control of all of the infantry units. So, so you've got the start battle. Alban Levy Spearman. Do yeah, don't start battle yet. We want to deploy somewhere. Ready. Ready for war. Well, I was still on the previous screen where it was the loading thing, so. Okay. I click start battle and now I'm actually like here. Cool. So um, So yeah, you should have four units. So I've got two Making two ready. archers, which will go and group together. And then the infantry, which I got spearmen and some sort of axemen, looks like. Uh, yeah, the levy. Yes, they are axemen. So, so, so the we're, axes... just in the, we're in the deploy phase right now, got it. Yes, so you should be able to just like, <laughs> click and drag Excuse people me. around. Uh, your archers are special. They have what's called the vanguard ability, which means you can deploy outside of your usual deployment area. So you can start anywhere in the yellow, uh, but the archers can start anywhere in yellow or white. Yellow or white? Mm-hmm. Well, white is like the enemy territory. Red's the enemy. So white kind of goes around Oh, them. okay. I see. I see what's going on here. So we can ambush people from different sides and stuff. But I don't think we're going to do that. I think we'll stay close to the core. So you've got the general then and the cavalry, right? <laughs> In fact, yeah, I'll okay. keep All the right. general near you. He is cavalry, which is why I'm a little curious to see how he functions. Because I was playing with the Vikings. They have, like, no cavalry. Cavalry! Not very good cavalry, anyway. Okay, well, I think... So generally, your spearmen are quite strong at just holding the line. They just stand there and just take it. Uh, your axemen should be a, quite good at killing enemy spearmen. And then your archers um, should be good at killing enemy skirmishers. Now, one thing to bear in mind about this era in particular is shield walls were a very big major thing. It was difficult to kill melee infantry with archers because their shields are just too sodding big. So just be aware of that. It's much easier to go for the cavalry or for their archers with your archers. Unless I you can get around the sides or the back, in which case, go for it. Gotcha. Give me one second here. I'm going to modify some of my sound a little bit here. You sound a little loud in my ears. So I'm going to turn that down and turn the game back up a little bit here. But we'll see once the battle goes what happens, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I should be ready to go here then. What I got here. I think I'm pretty set with what I want to do. In fact, screw it. I'm going to give you the general. So the general gives a very big okay. morale boost. Keep him near your infantry guys, otherwise they'll break. Um, and if you need to charge, do it, but please don't get him killed. <laughs> uh, the okay. other thing which I should say about cavalry is you can dismount them. Um, one of the options is dismount. Yeah, I saw that toggle, toggle mount. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, I'm ready to roll. So you're just taking the cavalry then, I've got to control everything else. Yep. So I see I'm... how it is, the Scottish oh. making the Irish do all the work for him. <laughs> exactly! So I'm going to be very reactionary, this is going to be pretty dependent on you because I basically will be attacking their flanks and their rear and things like Let's that. See here, they are moving forward. What's the range on the archers here? They... If you hold not, down... Not, a, not very impressive, but... Yeah, if you hold down space you can see all of the ranges, including enemy. I see. And that will also show you where people are moving to. Do woods provide protection and stuff? Is that mechanic still here? Uh, woods mean that your units can hide, and it's much, much easier to fight cavalry in woods. Like, cavalry are very ineffective. Oh, Mostly shit, it's about here? hiding, though. I'm gonna back up a little bit here, because I want them to come out of the woods. I'm not sure they will. We are technically attacking, so yeah, they probably won't budge. So what well, they're we moving. 
they're not, no. So what we may want to do is come like around here and then hit them from the side. Oh, you can draw on the map and stuff. Okay, yeah. I see what's going on here. So in the uh, top next to the minimap, there are red, blue, green. You can draw different colors. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh god, what's happening? I'm just right. Well, that might need a little work because there's, <laughs> there's there's a lot of blue lines going other places here. So, <laughs> okay. Well, let's uh here. Okay, so they've come to a stop. So yeah, I'm gonna send the archers around the right or the left rather okay. onto their right flank. Spearmen going to just move up and spearmen and axemen are gonna move in the center. Generals gonna stay with them. Uh, one thing I should point out is you can see your general has the little like uh, helmeted figure above the flag. That's to represent the general, so the enemy has the same thing. So their guy is like the one furthest away from gotcha. us. Gotcha. Yeah, he's on the on the right. I can see him there. So who are these assholes we're fighting anyway? These are just Scottish rebels. So they're pretty much the same units that we have. Shift yourselves. Except the you gotta fight. cavalry, I think, is ranged. Yes. We'll ravage their forces. So there are different movement speeds in this, walking and running. If you run, obviously you get more tired, and because it's raining, if you're running, you'll get tired very quickly. So you generally want to walk until you're actually in the fight. Grind them into the mud. And you can run by double clicking, double right click. Just yourselves. So you've got skirmisher cab on the left. They've got spears in the front, followed by archers in the back. So they have, they're actually pretty light on missile troops. Yeah. Uh, what you probably want to do with your archers is try and kill their missile cavalry because they're going to be too quick for me, most likely. So the axemen are actually going to go forward because they can take on the spearmen without too much fuss, right? So yeah, they should. They could do that. So the the spearmen are going to cover cover the archers, and then the general move this way. General, no one gets out alive. General Aid, apparently my king's called Aid. Who's up for a scrap then? Hurry it up. Is he? Mm -hmm. Aid loyal AD. followers. Well, what the other generals called that too, though. Uh, so he is. Okay, so I have no idea. Unless there's two of us. Making haste. It's your doppelganger. <laughs> Maybe. That war of fighting, we're trying to destroy your doppelganger. <laughs> Quick march, man. It's kind of interesting that I'm taking control of the cavalry because I was doing Total War Warhammer before this stream, and in that one, my uh, co-op partner loves using cavalry, so he does all the cavalry stuff. So I'm not used to using horses very effectively. This is going to be new no. for me. You're an enemy archer range, by the way. With, uh, with the with the uh, spearmen, I am yes, and they're starting to move forward now. Cavalry charging on the left. This is fine. I'll go you. Yeah. Alright, well, if you're charging, I'm gonna catch you. Ho ho ho! Oh, that's bad for them. Let's catch their cavalry of mine. Na 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 na. I got you. Okay, I'm hitting those spearmen that are on the left. They're about to charge your cab. The other spearmen I got are gonna go and charge forward. That's fine. It was actually good that they were coming after me because they were turning their sides, so your archers were actually doing some damage. It's time for me to go. They flee before our well, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was their cavalry, which I just mauled. Uh, units do tend to run away pretty quickly in this, and they also tend to rally quite a lot. Alright, we've been engaged by the general. You might want to bring your own general in on the left flank to attack that.
Rear cavalry charge. Bam! Right, I'm, gonna the, I'm gonna switch the arrows back to the skirmisher cavalry that's there on the left. Okay, okay looks like their general's wavering. Uh, yes, he is. The enemy general is dead! That helps. I'm gonna go after their archers even though they're just running for the hills. The battle is turning in our favor! Yeah, we're going after, we're going to just cut down everybody here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you want to try and kill as much as you can. Uh, one thing to note is that archers do tend to run faster. So you can tell them to like chase enemies down if you press F and then they go to like melee mode and then they'll run down and oh, people down. Get it boys! Now, so technically we've won here, but because we want to manually kill as much as possible, uh, we just go and then eventually I can end battle. Oh no, that, that F trick didn't work. Should have. No, they just they just started uh just started firing their arrows. Hold down. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, you don't hold it. You just press it once. It's like a toggle. Yeah, I might have I might have put a few arrows into the general's uh, unit. No. But it looks it looks like they're okay though. <laughs> it's fine. And the reason the sound stops because I sped things up just while we were in the yeah, cleanup phase. All right, our archers are dead. I have cleaned up the field before us almost. Just a couple of spearmen to go, which your archers are shooting at. Yeah, that went pretty well, I thought. It didn't look like we lost too many. The the, the axemen took a few losses, but... I lost a few cavalry, but honestly nothing too serious. That'll do. There's only one man left. A glorious victory! All right. Decisive victory! Huzzah! Alright, so we suffered 101 losses. We killed 482. Sorry, 472. Not a bad day. No, not bad at all. Wait for other players to finish loading. Yeah, mine's still loading. There we go. So then I have a choice on whether I want to release these guys, ransom them, execute them, or what. Um, Do you think it'll be playable at midnight? Uh, I don't know. Um, my guess would probably be yes. I think it's released at something like 8am BST tomorrow. Something like that. Uh, be four, no, that's 11am, uh, 11, 11 p.m. Or, no. What time did you say? 8 p.m. or 8 a.m.? 8 a.m. So that's going to be 11 a.m. Pacific, and then that's 4 in the afternoon if you're in Britain. Alright, so this one is just their one unit of cavalry, so I'm just going to do auto resolve. Just go ahead and hit auto resolve when it comes up. Yeah. You should kill him. Humble beginnings done! Or issued. We should stabilize internally before we look beyond our borders. Prove your right to rule. Power. Mission Limit successful. all nearby rebels. Okay. Except. Our bravery is legendary. Is that my turn yet? <laughs> very, very nearly. Yes. Ah, damn it! Costume diplomacy. <laughs> oh well. Okay. So legitimacy, positive steps. In order to gain authority, you must consider your best way forward. Everyone from the peasants in your fields to the kings you deal with beyond your borders must know you keep your word, whether you are promising help or threatening vengeance. Legitimacy. Security home, essential rulers, blah, 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 blah. Plus one loyalty, all characters, plus you melee skill for all units. Okay. So is this just a thing I get? Uh, I yeah. So. I think so. Okay. Well, I want to build a, a farm real quick in one of these places. What I want to do here. I want to do it at, uh, shit, where is this? Ardach. Yeah, building a farm because we want more food because, you know, who doesn't love being fat? And I got this rebel army over here. I've got... So I've got horse boys. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two javelin units, a Fianna band, a Freeman spearman, and then there's the glorious king. The glorious so let's go king. deal with them. Um, my chat's saying that your voice is crackling a lot. Is that your end or is, is that it? just Discord? Do, do I sound crackly on, to you? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. 
Chat, how do I sound? I mean, you sound good to me, so I don't, I don't know if it's Discord. Yeah, it must be Discord. Should we try leaving and then rejoining? See if that clears anything up. I'm asking my chat to see if there's, uh, if they, if they, if they are detecting any problems. Okay. They say it sounds good, so it's probably something with Discord, is my guess. All right. So why don't we, why don't we just bail over to your Discord? Maybe sure. A problem with the uh, Discord. So Mordor Viking, where are you? Last here. My umpteen bajillion long list of Discords. <laughs> There we go. So how do I sound now over here? How does uh, this sound? Still crackly. Maybe there's something wrong with my web. I am not sure. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just noticeable. Let me look at my voice settings here real quick. Uh, be crackly in what sense? Like I like there's a lot of static, or am I am I just fading in and out a bunch? Or um, it's kind of like when you're speaking, there's little pops. So your voice kind of like that. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see Ah, crap! I just, I just looked at my sound settings. That's going to reset everything. <laughs> uh, recording. How much I saying? I am not sure what's what the story would be here. Uh, my chat's saying that sometimes one-on-one -on -one calls rather than chat room calls work better. Okay, well, let's try that then. I will bail out of here. If this is a workbook... Is this working? I... How do, how do I sound here? Am I sounding good? Am I still sounding crackly? Uh, crackly, but less. Hmm. It's good enough. Okay. As long as people can understand what I'm saying, that's the important part here. Yeah. It may have something to do with my new mic. I got a new condenser mic recently with uh, one of those little preamp units and stuff, and maybe there's something going on there. I don't know. To do with my. But if that were true, then my my chat would be saying I'm I'm having a problem. So yeah, there's something pre... something's going on with the connection. That is what it, it's got to be. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's something like anyway related. So we want to manually fight the battle. <laughs> and spectate. They're right there. <laughs> so in the game it's that I was watching yesterday, um, the other guy that was playing is a Warhammer player, and then the one who I was watching was a Saga player. And the spectate battle um, button is switched with the uh, in in Warhammer. So spectate here is on the right, and Warhammer is on the left. And he kept on pressing the wrong one to uh, auto resolve. So I have to be very careful about which one I click on. Start battle. Oh, did anyone ever get back to me on how to pronounce Mide, if it's pronounced that way, in my chat, or in Mordred's chat for that matter? Uh, no one okay, in my so chat. Okay, so how do I give you units? Okay, so uh, select the units you want to give, and then on the left-hand side in like the central panel, there's a little gift. Aha. Uh -huh. little present. Okay. So select the ones you want to hand over, then click on that, and I'll get control of them. Okay. I will just give you all those, so I'll be the cavalry this time. <laughs> Let's get to it. How's my CPU load? That's a good question. Let's find out real quick. Let's see how how the CPU load is doing. We are... We're doing fine. We're only hanging around 65% right now for our CPU load, so it's not heavy load. So that's not a problem. Hey, thanks for the donation, Anaya. Javelins! Okay, so what do we got here on the other we side? We've got household riders. So they have elite melee cavalry, and they have skirmisher cavalry. The elite heavy cavalry or melee cavalry is on the right. The skirmisher cav is on the left, and then we've got spearmen in the middle, spearmen. followed by their general. Looks like or no, who is this? The general is the guy on the right. Right, yeah. So he's the melee unit, and spearmen. then there's Freeman Javelin in the rear. Now, I don't have any archers myself, like we did with the Scots. I have javelins, too. So mm -hmm. those are under Mordred's command. So 
I think just straight at him. We already got the, the tree cover here that we can advance through. There's just an open field pretty much in the middle. So yeah, I think we just go for it. Pretty much. All right. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna flank with the cavalry. I'm gonna do it. Hit it with javelins whenever, uh, whenever we're engaged. Tis so. Hold fast. Quite so. Okay, they're actually advancing on us this time, which is fine.